I can't wait, I can't wait, I can't wait. I've heard so much about Ghana Jello Fries. And today I just called my beautiful girlfriend. I said I want to eat Ghana Jello fries today. And she said, Why not? I should come and try. So here I am. Oh my god. So nice. So nice. So nice. Are you sure? Yeah, it's very nice. You're giving me knife. <laughs> So I'll use only fake. <laughs> Today, bye bye to Jello, uh, Nigeria Jello. <laughs> I won't do Nigeria Jello fries again. I'll eat Ghana Jello fries. You have to test this. You have to try. You can introduce yourself. Hi guys, my name is Queen Sandra. In today's video, I'm trying something special, and it is Ghana Jello fries. Oh my God! I can't wait, I can't wait, I can't wait. I've heard so much about Ghana Jello fries. And today I just called my beautiful girlfriend. I said, I want to eat Ghana Jello fries today. And she said, Why not? I should come and try. So here I am. Mm -hmm. It's a Ghana Jello fries. <laughs> mm. Oh my god. It tastes so nice. So nice. So nice. Are you sure? Yeah, it's very nice. Mm. You're giving me knife. <laughs> So I'll use only fake. <laughs> so let's go. Okay. Hmm. Oh my god. Mm, this is nice. Yeah? Yeah, it's very nice. So what is the difference between Ghana and From today, bye bye to Jello, uh, Nigeria Jello. <laughs> I won't do Nigeria Jello fries again. I'll eat Ghana Jello fries. You have to test this. You have to try. Mm, I've learned some of the um, tips to cook it, so you can contact me, then I'll be teach you how to cook it. <laughs> it's up to you to tell them to come to the main thing. Oh, you can come to the main chef. She can <laughs> teach you how to make it. This is nice. This is very nice. Very nice. Mm. Oh. oh my god. Good appetit. Thank you. <laughs> Nigeria, we are learning. <laughs> Ghana jello fries. Oh my god, it's nice. It tastes so nice. I'm happy you like it. Mm. And the good thing about this Ghana jello fries, she didn't actually make this with tomato. Mm -hmm. That is different. She made it with carrot, yeah? Mm -hmm. Carrot. She blended the carrot and she used carrot instead of tomato and it came out very nice. When she was making it, I was surprised. How can you cook without tomato? <laughs> but it came out very, very nice. It's, it's better than tomato and it's, it's more healthier. Yeah. Yeah, more healthier than tomato. So this is nice. You have to try this. All right. Okay, let's eat. All right. I just hope I can see myself. Yeah, you need to see yourself. Especially okay, guys. Chef. So, ooh, I'm the chef. So you can see I'm coming from the kitchen. So, yeah. my name is Phoebe from La Deutsche Vita, Life in Germany, Made in Germany. And yeah. we are just sharing with you our life in Germany, how we've been living in Germany, what we've been experiencing. So, this is the Ghana Jollof. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Let me go for my own um, fork and eat. So, what would you like to drink? Anything. Um, in fact, I would use my hand. Should I drink your water, right? Yeah. There you go. So actually guys, this is probably our intro video to you guys about our channels and what we have planned for you guys. Ooh, this is chicken. Oh. You guys already know I love foods from the asparagus um, video and from the... There was um, another video um, I did where I was talking about German words of the week. I did Essen. <laughs> mm. Sorry guys, this food, I don't need stress <laughs> out. <laughs> I have to concentrate on this food. Mm -hmm. 
it's very nice so you can tell them how how you prepared it mm -hmm. you can tell them the process oh. and everything so basically like every stew um you start with oil onion you fry it and then um we added the salsa blend it was ginger garlic onion pepper and some um any seeds no it wasn't any seeds no it was cloves yeah, it was yeah. cloves <laughs> and then we blended everything together we used the same salsa blend to spice the chicken just to start the stew and then we just boiled the carrots for a little bit to get them softer for the blender and blended the carrots with a little bit of um, bell pepper or paprika mm -hmm. and then we started the stew and just let it fry we added some um, shrimp powder or crayfish powder and basically tasted if it was okay we added some salt and of course bay leaf and all of that so yeah it's nice i'm happy you like it i love it <laughs> i didn't like it but i actually love it i'm happy how about the shito she's trying ghana shito for the first time today as well yeah which mm -hmm. one is shito this one mm -hmm. mm. everything is nice mm. only my next word I'll come as a Ghana woman. <laughs> because of Jalo. Mm. But you know, oh Jalo is from God. Senegal, so you should actually become. No, yeah, because I also, I always watch African movies. I see Ghana Jalo fries, Ghana Jalo fries. I would be like, what's the difference between Nigeria Jalo fries mm -hmm. and Ghana Jalo fries? Um, yeah. But the difference is very clear. Very clear. Yeah. Mm. And I think our rice is also softer, right? Yeah. Softer. The method is much easier. The yeah. Nigerian method. Yeah. How did the Nigerians make the jello fry? Take stress. This one you didn't parboil it. No. But well, actually, it's not all Nigerians that do parboil their rice. Just as the same method you use, Nigeria they use a tomato instead of carrot. Mm -hmm. Um, you fry your tomato, your onion, your your spices. There are some spices you use that mm -hmm. Nigerians we don't use it. Mm -hmm. And maybe that's why this one is more special than Nigeria jello fries. So this one you didn't parboil it, mm. but some of the Nigeria rice they parboil it. Some parboil, some don't parboil. Mm -hmm. So but me basically I love parboiling my rice, but I don't know right. that you can actually cook rice without yeah, mm -hmm. and it comes out perfectly. I don't know. And well, it's just my mom who makes her jollof with carrots, mm -hmm. but Nigerian Ghanaians as well. Um, some use regular tomatoes or tomato paste, mm -hmm. and instead of the carrots they use that. But I think the carrot gives it a better taste, a much richer, sweeter taste. Mm. You know, actually, when you were making it, I was like, carrot. Mm -hmm. I didn't know it would taste this nice. Mm -hmm. I will definitely try it. It's very nice. I'll bring the recipe to you guys, though. But take your camera to the side so that you can. Okay. Me. So I'll bring you guys the recipe of the of the jollof. Let me put the light on me as well. Okay, so you guys will get the jollof recipe as well, and mm, sorry, our camera went off. So as I was saying, I'll do the um, the recipe video with my mom because she's she's going to be so happy to hear this. And it pains me to say it, but she is a jollof expert because in our house we have this jollof oh war going God. on. Wow. <laughs> you can imagine the daughter made this one. How? Oh my God. You can imagine when the mother made it because mm -hmm. actually she learned it from her mom. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So please, you guys should help me beg my daughter Vita because I, if I watch, if I mistake with God, you too. <laughs> I watch Mama cooking it. Oh my God! I'll just package yours for you. Mm -hmm. No, don't package. Just inform me. I will come. <laughs> I don't mind. I don't mind the ticket. I will come. No problem. Just inform me like one week. Ahead. because if you cook it, tell her I know where mom is working. If you cook yes, it, that's I, true. She actually does. I will go and visit mom and say, Mom, how far now? What happened? <laughs> what happened to the food? <laughs> so you have to inform me. Yes, guys, so um that is coming. I don't think we'll be doing so is we'll be discussing things that concern us as um Africans living in Germany, be it dating, marriage, work. And everything that we are going through so if it, it comes um, in like we are buying a car we tell you how that went we are doing fuel shine as a driving license we tell you what we went through so 
or what we experience. I don't like saying the what we went through because sometimes I feel like it sounds so negative. But that's real. That's yeah. what it is. So you know they say bitter truth. That is the truth. <laughs> that is true. So huh? don't try to paint it or don't try to give it a foreign name. <laughs> what we actually <laughs> went through. Oh God. We we went through a lot to be where we are today. That yeah, is true. So we'll, this program is kind of reality show. So when you you watching our viewers, if you think there is something you want us to talk about, just feel free, drop it. Um, you can drop it via email to La Dolce Vita or you can drop it to my channel or Queen Sandra. So just feel free to tell us what you want us to talk That's about. We are free because this program is to entertain you guys and also to tell you guys more about what we experience and yeah. those people out there experiencing such things mm -hmm. just for them to also have confidence and know that there is nothing in this life that is permanent there is a saying that they said the, the only constant thing in life is change. change so everything happens for a reason and everyone will pass through it and yeah. keep it if I tell you what I passed through to be where I am today, hmm. you know, go ahead. So, you know, go ahead. So, they will say, okay, you are coming home. She's coming home gradually. Today, you will speak Ibu. You will feel like you are, you are from. You will come home. Don't worry, I will bring her home, okay? This uh, La Dolce Vita will soon change to La Ibo Vita. Guys, yeah, do, do you really think she can pay for my transportation to Nigeria? Mm, don't worry. <laughs> uh, you want to transport me back to Nigeria? Can she pay for my transportation back to well, Nigeria? Well, we reach that uh, bridge. We'll cross it. Yeah. <laughs> I speak pigeon for a living. People don't know. Mm -hmm. For a living. For a living. Okay. <laughs> I speak pigeon for a living. It's just that I speak it when I have to. When someone like me is around. Yeah, yeah but, but I don't leave this house again. What you have? It's just, it's just, it's just, it's just, sometimes if we are both talking to her, she will forget she's talking to me. She will like speaking all this big, big Dutch. Oh my god. But seriously, I love that because sometimes watching her will motivate me more because this does sometimes I normally give up. I'll say God. Don't give up. The thing is no, it's not entry. Why is it not entry? I'll say let me open this head and <laughs> for it. I'll just look at her, her ways of advice. I'll say, okay, let me keep pushing, pushing, pushing. Yeah. yeah. As they say, every journey starts with a step. Yeah. And even in journeys you have you have obstacles, you have little rocks, you have little hills, you have mountains. And um, one thing about the German language is when it, you keep telling yourself it's difficult, it will stay difficult. That's what I, that's why when people ask me, is it hard? I said, no, it's not hard. The, the hard part is you bringing the willingness to say, I am going to learn it. Mm -hmm. Because I've seen older women learn German. They came here after they had clocked 30 and they're speaking really good German. And some of them didn't even go to German course. Yeah. They were just learning by hearing. Mm -hmm. uh, my nail technician, she is amazing. She said she was just watching TV and paying attention to what people say all the time. So the words people use and all of that. And that was how she learns German. And she doesn't even care about grammar. She's mm -hmm. like, if she hears people say, my name's Wegen, she doesn't care about whether it's genitive, dirty. She, yeah, just, she also yeah, just says, yeah. my name's Wegen, me is the cigar. She, doesn't, she, doesn't, she was like, why don't they say, it's, it's the cigar? Because... It doesn't matter to me, I don't care, but we say near is the cigar. So yeah. Just tell yourself you can do it and you will be able to do it. That's it. And when it comes to the language, don't limit yourself. Because there are even more difficult languages. Look at Russian. Before I would even crack the alphabet. No, just after I've grown grey hair. Putaba, putaba, putaba. Don't, don't go too far. <laughs> don't go too far. You can use like something like France or Italy to make examples. Why, why would you use Russia? Those words that, like you say, someone like me should go to China. What would I go there and do? Mm -hmm. What would I learn? Mm. But there are um, students, African students, who go to China and learn the language, right? But if you are one, just say, I'm here. For Sandra to see that there are Africans who go to China and they learn the Chinese yeah, language. Like or one student. of the Chinese languages. I think, I think they have multiple languages there. Hmm. All their languages. All surrounded with win, huh? With her, so I don't even know if they're speaking it. I don't know which one is different or this. No. That's true. Like because we are not experts of the language, but I'm just saying that. Um, 
German compared to other languages is easy. The only thing that is a lot is because it looks so complex, you know, mm -hmm. that youth genitive, accusative. Oh my god. <laughs> you know, even now it's even less. Before they used to have ablative. <laughs> <laughs> All of them fell off. So even now we are doing German lights. It's not the original grammar structure you're doing. It's light, uh -huh. light version. Oh, imagine me then. Uh, I'll go crazy. <laughs> that's why you see some of our Africans here. They are crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's the truth. You think it's a, but those people they are not even speaking the language. But this language are distress. Everything can make you crazy in German. Because here you see a lot of African people, they will just walk in the road talking to themselves crazy. They will not even take that back. They will just be walking crazy oh because Lord. this country, eh, if you see anyone, like this my sister, I respect her a lot because she, anyone that have crossed 10 years or 15 years in Germany, if you see the, those people, give them respect because it's not easy. Mm -hmm. It's not easy to stay here. Sometimes I feel like, what am I even doing here? Let me go back to my country. Because the stress, there's, there's come some letters you will receive. You will go crazy. <laughs> because this place, the national item, I said, why not they change it to letter? They send letters. <laughs> oh, God. There's some letters you will receive. You will just, you just want to give up. Yeah. But it's not easy. It's not easy. Germ German is, oh, my God. In, it's like in this Europe, German is the most uh, strongest, difficult country to be. I think it's actually the easiest country to be in. To you, because... <laughs> You know why this lady said this? I wish I came when I'm at her age because she came here. Oh, thanks our parents, sha. Yeah? Because my parents, but they are so rest in peace. They don't sit try because yeah, they because try. Yes. Mm -hmm. Her parents, yeah, they tried their best. They brought her here when she was young. Mm -hmm. Definitely, that one is sure. Mm -hmm. When you come here when you are young. Because I see a lot of our African children, they will bring them here like age of five, six, just give them three months. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we are, when I, uh, the place I, I did my practicum, the, there is a guy, he's from Italian. He came, I did practical for two weeks, this guy came for two weeks. On that two weeks. He was speaking. Come and see magic. <laughs> I was ashamed. Was like, what was different? I was ashamed of myself. Mm -hmm. A little, because this, um, will I say, um, they, their own mentality, those age, they have um, what would I say, retentive memory, they, yes. have, they have very sharp memory, so they can easily pick, pick, pick up vocabulary. Not someone like us that will come, we are putting our eye in the money. Mm -hmm. She told me, a lot of people told me then, Sandra, go to school. But today I'm regretting it. Yeah, yeah. Even I, I took the, those advice then. By now, I could have known where I would. Uh, maybe by now, my my German would have been polished. Mm. Mm. That that's the thing. Like yeah, but I went after money and I ignored people telling me the truth. And maybe by now, those kind of money that I'm receiving, self, I will not even. I will receive more than that. In Jesus' name, you still get. I will go back to school. That one is more. So just try to learn the language, even if you don't. You don't want to, you, to go for the um language course. Imbibe yourself in the language, like drown yourself in German language. Put your phone on German. Is your phone in German? Can we continue? It's not in German. <laughs> this is not my problem. And I'm, I, I'll seriously, be I'll work on it. Mm -hmm. Because one thing again I see in, when you're trying to learn, because if you, if you notice that my German is bad, rather than when I, I was working. Yeah. Yeah. Because I, I, I met her during my working days. Yeah, that's true. Then I communicate, maybe my day-to-day -day life is with German people. So they will speak it to you whether you like it or not. Mm -hmm. So I meet them, maybe they will tell me, even if I don't understand, I will say yes. <laughs> that's what I need to do. Really, they say good and you say yes. Yeah. <laughs> there's, one, there's one of my colleagues, he normally laughs at me. I don't know why this man was laughing because... <laughs> Instead of me, this is because what you said now. One thing you have to know in this country: don't be intimidated. Yeah, yeah. Because German That's like it true. when you are not intimidated. Yeah. So my life during the train, then, if you speak what I don't know, I'll just nod my head. That's what I used to do. Sister, thank you. I will nod my head. I will just pass. Then I will not take my phone, and it really helped me. Maybe the level I am in Germany now is it just does work, because. When they said, okay, I'll see what is this, I'll cram it on my head, then I'll use a voice note, I'll check it, I'll translate it, then I'll know, okay, this is the meaning. Yeah. So one thing, if you want to learn this German, you associate yourself with people that speak it more. You see, the very first video I made, I said it. Mm -hmm. um, 
make sure your social circle is has at least one person who speaks German with you or who knows the German system and speak the language. So if you're watching Netflix, you can have um you can listen to it in English but have German subtitles. I met so many of our black women, black men when I was working in the train. I've met so many of them racist. You see our black being racist on their fellow black. Yeah. Because they felt they are at that place that you are not. Mm -hmm. They they felt that they have that thing that you don't have. But she was that very day she was very kind. We just greeted. I said, I love your makeup. She said, Oh, you see, you look, you look beautiful. That's how we started. She said, I've been seeing you. I said, Ah, young girl, African woman working in the stream. Mm -hmm. So that's how we started. We yeah. started. Before you know it, we became more than a friend. Mm -hmm. Well, how about we eat? <laughs> Anything that has to do with money, don't jump me. <laughs> Listen, money, money makes the world go round. Yeah simple as that mm -hmm. and when it comes to mixing friends and money you have to be strict on your friends as well so yeah. if, if I have to give her manung mm -hmm. I think I have to send her a notice that madam your invoice is unpaid <laughs> yeah yes. but she was very very she's more than a friend oh thank she's you nice you sister. Are yeah 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 yes, so okay guys let's close this and Thank you for watching. See, see, yeah, see how she she almost finished. She's not she's forming fine girl, but she'll finish it. Yeah, it's almost finished now. I'm already done with it. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. Us. Yes. Okay. Thank guys for watching, and see you same time next week, right? Yeah, next week. Cheers. Cheers.